that now our first speaker uh, is Rachel Conway uh, from Butterfly Conservation. She's online, so she's out there in the ether somewhere. Rachel has worked for Butterfly Conservation for almost six years in community projects, but recently joined the recording and monitoring team to deliver the supporting science project. Rachel's talk will introduce you to the work achieved to date and how this will help data flow in the future. So, Rachel Conway, supporting science, a small project with big, a big ambition to smooth the flow of lepidoptical data. So, over to you, Rachel. Thank you very much. Thanks very, very important. much. Hello, everybody. It's very nice to be here. Thanks for the invite. Um, I have called this project um, a small project with a big ambition because once we actually got going on the project and I was in post, we had just over 18 months to um, deliver uh, a project with quite big and ambitious project outcomes. So the work plan has kind of hemorrhaged out of the officer role into the rest of the recording and monitoring team. So we're all working together on the supporting science project. It's not just me. But we're up for the challenge. Um, we're very committed to improving data flow in butterfly conservation. And we're also very committed to biological recording. Not only is the data the absolute bedrock of our conservation and science and education, but as Michael was saying, it isn't life enhancing activity. And I'm sure there's lots of you that will agree with me. It's just one of the best things that you can do. And it cements a, a lifelong and deep connection to nature. And we really need people with a deep connection to nature. Um, if we're going to try and tackle some of the challenges that wildlife is facing and that our planet is facing. Um, so we, we want to sort of support recorders um, and county recorders and people supporting the verification process, process at every stage of their learning and role. And, um, you know, no one is born knowing species of moth or butterfly, no one is born knowing how to submit a biological record. And, and I really want to welcome everybody in to start that learning path. Um, and we need to welcome everybody in if we're going to be sustainable and and have that sort of succession of expertise and knowledge. Um, so we're really keen to welcome new and diverse people into our network and hope that they bring with them new and diverse skills that they can share. So how did it all began, begin? Well, um, there was an internal um, data review of Lepidoptera data. And um, we had a look, sort of mapped out how data flow is between recorders, county recorders and, and butterfly conservation. And having mapped out all the various sources and the pathways and, and the systems that are in place, you, it's a very complicated picture. Katie's, Katie will recognise this image. And um, you'll be pleased to hear I'm not going to try and pick our way through that. It's just really to illustrate the complexity of the lepidoptera landscape. And we also um, conducted a survey of our county, uh, of the county moth recorders in 2020. And um, unsurprisingly, um, they confirmed that they are managing an increasingly heavy workload. And this is putting a great deal of pressure on their role. It's taking longer to process data and it's also taking the fun out of it. And you can see from this plot the increase in moth records between 1960 and 2016. Um, just to say as well that we're keen to do a similar survey with our butterfly moth recorders soon. So we've got some a, a lot of data, which is in a sort of a, a complicated tangle and, um, and, and county recorders, single humans at the end are sort of crumbling under the workload. So supporting science with Bourne, it was, um, we, we wanted to expand expand and diversify the network and support learning and development to um, sort of address some of those data pinch points and provide more uh, functional digital resources and bring the county recorder network together to start sharing skills and best practice. So we were very thankful to the Department of Culture, Media and Sport and the National Lottery Heritage Fund 
who funded us through their DigiSkills project. And this is a tranche of funding that aims to support resilience and creativity in the heritage sector. It's all about inclusion and collaboration. And there are seven other projects in our tranche and it is across the whole wider heritage sector. Um, very diverse um, projects in there. We're the only natural history project. The overarching themes, as I said, are to increase digital collaboration and to include diverse audiences and underserved groups by our sector. So the project um, focus, well, the project is focused around four sort of key deliverables, a refreshed garden butterfly survey, a programme of iRecord training, a county recorder toolkit and a data management portal. So the first two are more about skills, um, training and um, supporting development. And the latter two are more about resources and the digital uh, tools and digital systems that we can bring in to support data flow. We also want to increase the visibility and use of records by working on sharing the data with um, MBN Atlas. Um, I just need to set out our stall with some of the collaboration. So very early on in the project, we um, invited the county recorders to give uh, their feedback, which we have collated. And we also invited them to take part in an expert working group. They have been involved throughout the project and different members of the expert working group have been supporting us with different um, project themes. So I'll probably refer to them as I go through the rest of the, the presentation. So what the first thing we did was to give a refresh to the garden butterfly survey. Um, it's, it's been around for several years. It's not been very widely promoted. So, it, and it's, you know, it's got loads of really great potential. It's a lovely survey. So we wanted to give it a fresh new look and make it more appealing and, and fit for the future. Um, so we invited the existing participants to give us feedback on what they would like to keep and what they would like to um, develop and we also invited them to help test the website once it had been launched and when they'd given us uh, their feedback we tweaked it and adjusted it. Um, so we aim to improve um, inclusion um, by expanding the concept of a garden so before it was just like your sort of typical domestic garden now you can include a balcony you can include allotment or a shared or a community garden and we're hoping that this might encourage a broad range of people to take part. And we're going to promote it over the summer and do some focused and targeted um, promotion in areas where there is lower uptake. It's a little bit similar to the Decide project in that way. And uh, we're hoping that this will, will, you know, increase the diversity of the locations and communities that um, are taking part in the Garden Butterfly Survey. So how will it help with data? Well, it's... It's a sort of a progression step from the big butterfly count. Um, we'd like to convert some of those um, participants of the big butterfly count and, and help them sort of develop their skills by taking part in a more regular survey. Um, we're going to promote it on the back of the big butterfly count, sorry, big butterfly count as a, a want to do more activity. It's an all year round survey. You can do it from the comfort of your own garden. And we really think this will help develop skills and confidence. And similarly to Michael's project, we're gonna have new um, communication with our participants and we'll be sending them regular newsletters and promoting this much more and communicating with um, participants via social media. And again, that gives us opportunities for learning and developing and increasing people's skills. So what we're looking to do is, is get to people earlier with skills development so that we're supporting that sustainability and succession. A new um, addition to the Garden Butterfly Survey is that the data is now going to flow through to iRecord as well. And that cuts out one of the stages um, in that complicated map. So the data will go straight there and can be downloaded by uh, county recorders and verification assistants. Um, in their iRecord download. And if you want to access and take part, you can do it here. So please encourage everyone to join in far and wide. It's great for people who um, run community gardens, etc. 
And now on to the field studies council training that we've been delivering. So this is our package called um, Future Data Skills. And I partnered with Kieran, which has been an absolute pleasure for me. I don't know whether it's been a pleasure for him, um, but he's been a great support. And um, we're, we're running this programme of three courses. The first one um, was aimed at county recorders and their assistants. So it was for county recorders who haven't really started engaging with iRecorder yet. And it was also for county recorders to invite people who are going to be assisting them with verification. And it was fantastic because we did actually have seven new verification assistants take part in that. And it was really encouraging to see that move towards the team approach to verification, because that's one of the things that's going to help with the, um, you know, with, with, with the workload and the data flow. Um, the county recorders, there were some county recorders who attended just to give us feedback and help us develop in the future. And then there's our Discovery and iRecord Butterfly and Moss, which is sort of an entry level scheme, and that's been delivered presently. Um, it's for existing recorders who want to get into iRecord, and also we've promoted it quite heavily to a new audience. Um, we've offered our free places to um to to uh, support partners who work with underserved groups so we were supported by the black environment network and black to nature and we've also um reached out to new groups who are working within our butterfly conservation projects in areas that work with diverse communities such as the big city butterflies and then we've actually just sort of contacted you know people who are completely new to us and we just thought that they might be interested and for example I promoted it to Black Girls Hike and they posted it on their Facebook page so um, we're just trying to extend some of those links and our final course um, I record uh, verification distinctive moths and butterflies that is really aimed at introducing people into verification role at a much earlier age uh, sorry earlier stage in their um, sort of learning path. And um, we're gonna train them in a distinctive set of moths and butterflies um, and to get them very comfortable with identifying that um, small set. And then we're going to train them in the verification of the same in, in our record. And the aim is that uh, people with these skills will um, support county recorders and join verification teams. Um, and possibly, you know, take some of the workload by, for example, dealing with all of the I record records of a peacock, which is accompanied by a photograph. So it's thinking a little bit more creatively about how we might get around some of these um, data flow problems and reducing the workload. We will be collaborating with the County Recorder Network again to find mentors and to work out which species would be the best to include in that list. And the training will be structured so that absolutely new people can come in and join us, but also so that um, people with existing knowledge can get trained up in verification. And so you can support your county recorder. And we have our toolkit. And the toolkit is really a bringing together of best practice resources. It's um, really a sort of an evolving package which will um, aims which aims to support the county recorders and verifiers with um the, the role of verification it's a suite of exhaust of resources and a data flow solutions so some of the things we've got in there presently is um training for county recorders and verification assistants and um, how to um guides for using excel and map mates um, a recording handbook to share with new recorders um county look record a lookup tool that we're going to develop, template responses uh, to give to recorders when you're verifying, and really exciting tools like this um, moth validation spreadsheet that I was introduced to um, yesterday. And Mark Cuba is the macro and micro moth, uh, moth, county moth recorder for East and West Lothian. And he has produced this amazing bit of sorcery. Um, and you, you, you click a button, it uploads your data and it does the magic and shows you um, based on a preset of rules where there are problems with the data. And you can see it there on the tool or it will pop open a tab in your existing workbook and you can see um, where you need to go in and ask further questions. It's a real game changer for people. It's an absolutely excellent thing. And this is the best sort of example of the project trying to bring together this best practice and skill sharing and 
we've got all this expertise and, and we should be sharing it across um, all of the network. And the final project, and this is a real biggie, is the new data management portal that we are going to develop. It's going to be a new bit of software that um, streamlines data flow and provides tools for data management. We have collaborated with the expert working group and the county recorders to sort of collate this wish list of functions that they might need when verifying data. And we're going to, it's a big piece of work. So we're actually recruiting an external facilitator to help us filter through this wish list and come up with a workable set of solutions. But some of the main functions will be um, import of multiple data sources, um, tools to help with processing, similar to the, the spreadsheet I've just mentioned, and also the storage of data in a safe way. Um, I, it, it gives me the horrors to think about the, the amount of personal data that we're all carrying in laptops. So to have somewhere to um, store data safely in line with GDPR would be a key function. We are collaborating with our partners at the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, and the portal will be housed within our record. Um, it's a very exciting um, bit of, of the project, and it's going to be really valuable. We've chosen our record because people are already very familiar with the platform and a lot of our schemes and um, sort of the data already flow to it. And, and it's the platform that we believe can best deliver the ambition in, in the medium to long term. It's going to provide a really strong foundation, I believe, for, for increased function in the future. Um, so we're really looking forward to seeing how, how um, that develops over the rest of the project. I'm in a bit of a whistle stop tour here. <laughs> I'm going to speed up a little. And so just to wrap up and say we, we're evaluating all of this with an external consultant. If anybody is thinking of setting up a project, please um, make sure that you include budget for external uh, evaluation. It's so helpful and we've benefited hugely from it. And one thing that the Heritage Lottery Fund want, me to do is, want us to do is come up with these service recipes. And this is, these are kind of how to's, and, and in some cases it might be a how not to, sort of case study reports. Um, so you can learn from our experience of delivering the digital project. You don't have to learn all of those lessons yourself. So it's a whistle stop tour for a whistle stop project. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, please do our Conway at butterflyconservation.org. If you want, if you're interested in the training we've covered or if you want to receive updates from the project or avail of some of those service recipes, I'm really happy for you to get in touch and um, it would be really good to collaborate with you. So thank you very much for your time. And before I go, I have a little note up here, <laughs> sticking on my laptop to remind myself, Katie Crookshanks, who's coming next, um, conceived this project. So Katie, I hope we've done you proud and you're pleased with the project to date, pleased with progress. Thank you. Rachel, I hope it's still there. I know it's hard to fall, but I think we can slip in a couple of questions if they are okay. on the floor. Gosh, they've all gone quiet. Anyway. Oh, few, few. Don't press <laughs> them. Don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rachel, thank you very much for that uh, whistle stop tour. Uh, it sounds like uh, that is every county recorder's or verifier's dream. Oh, that. thank you. That's encouraging. I'm getting that in my evaluation framework. framework. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And we continue uh, with our next speaker.